Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. Love to everybody out there. Um, don't forget uh, my website, jasonbirdspreacher.com and there's the Twitter and Facebook. And also don't forget uh, the new website as well, the Royal Blood Ministries website. Uh, I put up a few videos by Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones and they'll really bless you. And um, there's a bit of information on the new website about what's happening over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll put a link to the new website under uh, this video as well. Um, <coughs> got back uh, um, last night um, from London. I just want to talk about that and uh, just talk about a few things um, for the next coming uh, weeks just to let you know what's happening. Um, we went to London, me and Mike, and um, I just want to share a few things uh, that I think are really beneficial and will edify you. Uh, before I went down to, to Hyde Park this time, uh, I always do a lot of preparation. Normally I spend about two days uh, studying and, and preparing because there's quite a few people down there who, who like to debate, so I just like to be prepared. But for me, the most important thing is about preaching the gospel. It's about getting people saved. Um, and I wanted to remind myself of that. And I watched two videos um, on Living Waters uh, Europe, Living Waters Europe YouTube channel. Living Waters is the Ray Comfort group. And Ray Comfort has a YouTube channel called Living Waters. And uh, they have a website um, which uh, is Living Waters and they do uh, the the way of the master uh, kind of evangelism and anyhow I listened to the there were two lectures two seminars on evangelism on Living Waters Europe and I have to say they were absolutely fantastic and I recommend I'll put a link to the videos under this video and I recommend that you watch those videos because they're really, really superb. So anyhow, I, I, I kind of watched them, then they really, really encouraged me. And basically, the way of the Master's method, Ray Comfort and his colleagues' method, is they preach the Ten Commandments and then they, they share the Gospel. And that's... Uh, what I do anyway, but it, it just brought it all more and more to me, the importance of it. And uh, on Saturday, uh, straight away I was talking to somebody and I just brought in the Ten Commandments and talked about lying and, and the person was convicted and the person gave their heart to the Lord. Uh, the first person I talked to on Saturday uh, and it was a thrill, it was tremendously encouraging. Um, and then, so it, it really emboldened me. Um, so we went down to Hyde Park, uh, and that was a good preparation for Hyde Park to watch those videos. And I watched a lot of other videos, did a lot of other preparation. I read Dr. Kruger's book on the canon, which was superb. And I'll, uh, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll do a long seminar on the canon from that book. Um, So at Hyde Park, I really enjoyed it and I'm finding it uh, fruitful because me, I'm not getting involved in these kind of like tit for tat kind of debates. Uh, I've kind of been praying for discernment to talk to people who, who, um, who really want to be, to know the gospel and, um, and the preaching, um, I've been more more focused on just wanting to preach the gospel, preach the law and, and, and the gospel, you know. And I did that when I went down. I always do that, but I'm focusing more and more on it. And um, right off the bat, I had a couple of individuals, a couple of uh, women, individual women, young women coming up to me, asking me questions and talking to me. 
uh, one lady was struggling with, she was a Christian, but she was struggling with um, the laws in the Old Testament. How do we understand them? And I, when I finished, she, she, she was really helped by what I had to say. Um, then I um, talked to another young lady and she was asking questions about suffering. And she was a Catholic. I was, I was telling about the gospel and then telling her about suffering. And then and a couple of other young women, they were talking to me and then they left and then they came back and took a gospel. And uh, I felt it was really, really fruitful, those one-on-one -on -one conversations. And I, I felt I was doing a service, that there were quite a few people there who, who were neutral, who were a bit lost, and, and they were just walking around. And some of them were Christians who, who had questions and needed answering, and I was able to help them. And then there was people who were not saved and they would have questions and I was able to share the gospel with them. So it was really, really fruitful. And the preaching uh, got filmed quite a bit. I didn't do much filming myself. Uh, I just filmed when we, we had a, a massive, huge group of Muslims come round us. And then halfway through, they got a little bit intimidating. So I filmed that. Um, Mike filmed me a little bit when I was preaching. And then I filmed another brother who was there who was preaching and God brought a lot of large crowds so I thought I'd film that because it was encouraging. But for us what we were doing, I didn't film much of what me and Mike was doing. Mike was off uh, doing his debates and, and talking to people and he had a good time doing that. Um, but I, I, I just felt that I just felt that the Lord was with us and um, there were some good debates that I had with people who were not these kind of people looking for arguments but for people who were genuinely interested and wanted to, a dialogue and uh, I think these debates that are going to come out uh, are, are going to be a blessing to you. They, they've not come out yet, there's uh, two YouTube channels that filmed me and um, when they come out, I'll be able to upload from one channel. So I'll be able to upload a couple of these debates uh, for you to see when I'm sharing the gospel. And uh, I'm sure they'll edify you because they were, they, were, they were done in an amicable way. Um, and the one YouTube channel who's a Christian but um, who, who filmed me... A, doing a couple of debates, I'll put the link of those debates when they come out under this video, so be looking out for under this video. I'll also press on like and they'll come up on my channel. Um, so we, we, we had to come back about 7 o'clock and we got the coach back and I was really pleased because I think we sowed a lot of seed. Uh, I felt that we met a need encouraging Christians. I felt that we shared the gospel. I've noticed uh, when I first went down there, the Muslim, the main Muslim apologist, the main top apologist down there, as soon as I was down there, they were all over me and wanted to debate me. But I've noticed now they stay far, they stay clear of me because, you know, they know that if they come and debate me, um, it's not going to go well for them. So what I'm finding is there are people who, who, who don't, don't know me. Um, so some of the low and rank debaters, uh, they will, they, they will come up to me. Um, and we've got a debate coming out in the next day or two, which we'll see, where I debated one of these kind of low-ranking debaters on, um, on um, as the Bible changed, or, or, or the Quran. Uh, but there are a couple of major apologists who, who know me, who <laughs> didn't want to debate me. So, which I'm happy with. It, it, it was good for me because I, I, I had a fruitful day. I was able to get on and share the gospel and, and that's what it was all about.
at the end of the end of the day at the end of the day so so it's been good you know we really got the gospel out really shared it to people in need i gave lots of gospel of john's out lots of leaflets out so we got the word of god out as well so we'll just pray that the seed will be blessed so i just want to talk about uh we've got some missionaries coming a lovely couple and their baby are coming uh, to stay with us for from the 22nd of August to the 29th of August. Uh, they're a lovely couple and I'm really looking forward to, to them coming. And so we're going to go out and do mission in the city of Manchester. We're going to share the gospel every day. So if you want to come and join us, if you're street preaching, evangelising, if you're a pastor or a church, uh, and you want to come up and join us and you believe in the Lord and you believe in the importance of, of the fundamentals of the Christian faith. And maybe you know me, uh, some of you know me. Uh, get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me on my phone number from my website, jasonburspreacher.com. And come out with us, you know, come out with us every day where we're going to be sharing the gospel. So that's going to be really good. So please pray. That God would bless the preaching of the word uh, and uh, that God would really um, bless the one-on-one -on -one evangelism. My, my, my brother and his wife, they prefer one-on-one -on -one evangelism, so we'll be, you know, it, we'll be doing a lot of that. Well, we do that, that a lot, but we'll be doing more of that. Um, I won't preach as much this week. I'll, I'll uh, support the missionary couple and we'll do... Uh, you know, what, whatever they want to do, really, we'll go and talk to people one-on-one, -on -one if that's what they want to do. We'll take a book, tape, uh, uh, a book table out, so if people want to come and give out literature with us, you're more than welcome to come. So please pray that the mission uh, to Manchester would really be good and that God would uh, bless it. Um... The other thing to report, I uh, put on the website Royal Blood Ministries about church planting. Um, it's been on my mind for some time now, over a year. And I have an evening free and a, and a midweek free to do Bible study and Sunday service. We were doing it for about just under two years as a reform fellowship. And um, that went really well. We had, we had some great meetings. It was great. But I was wondering whether I should start a, a church or not. And, and I've been praying and praying. And I, my heart senses a need to encourage people to teach the Bible and to, to plant churches. So... Uh, in fear and trepidation, um, after the uh, dear couple have left, there will be door-to-door -door work being done in Cheetah Mill and surrounding uh, difficult areas in Manchester and missionary work done in various difficult areas of Manchester where there's very little evangelism and there will be uh, a church planting programme being done. And the first first church plant i hope it will be uh hope uh, hope presbyterian church um so i'm going to start small i'm going to start with house meetings and as a reform fellowship um and see how it goes so that's what i hope to be doing in uh in the beginning of september uh so please pray about that and please pray that god will bless it uh, I'll still be going to my home church, and um, but that's an area and a need that I think um, I think can can uh, be a blessing to people in a very difficult, run-down areas where there's no gospel work. Uh, if anybody wants to come out and do door-to-door -door work with me, and reach out into very difficult areas of Manchester in door-to-door -door work, please. Please let me know. Um, and that's it really. Uh, our, my equipment has been damaged. I'm praying 
it, I can still use the the equipment, the the mic, um, but because of preaching and we've had a, a mic t t that sticks into it, um, people have been pulling it and yanking it, and it, the the button where it, it, the the uh, connection where it goes in, it's kind of become loose. So hope maybe I could get someone to fix it. I'll find out. But just pray that God will provide uh, some equipment. A uh, pastor of a church uh, at a church over in Levisham, um gave me that that equipment, that sound system. Uh, he saw me preaching and he saw that I was doing it without a mic and I was getting tired. So he said, come to church and he gave me the sound system and the mic was broken. And so he gave me another mic. So I'm very grateful for that and it's been a tremendous help. But in street preaching, it's getting quite a bit of battery at the moment. So pray, please pray that God will provide uh, good sound equipment. That the sound equipment that we got, either we can get it fixed or somebody will donate or help us with that. So uh, there's no immediate crisis or anything like that. But it, it, it's just it just makes the work easier if you've got a good sound system. Um, so just pray that God will bless and God will help. Um, and apart from that, it, it's just been really good. We had a really good time on Saturday. Pastor Clement came and um, was a real blessing with his, his sisters. Um, somebody give the heart to the Lord. And uh, so it's been good. And Hyde Park was a, a real blessing. Um, and looking forward to this mission and looking forward to doing some church planting in the next uh, couple of months so so that's where i'm going we pro I probably god willing go to hyde park once every six weeks but where i'm going is i hope i'm praying to build a team to do royal blood ministry so please pray that god would send me a team of people who i can train and join me in a team of Royal Blood Ministries where as street preachers and evangelists we go out and evangelize but also pray that God will send me a team to help me church plant this Presbyterian church that I need some people some people to join me in that church plant because uh, you know it's very difficult uh, church planting especially when you're doing door-to-door -door work uh, that's particularly difficult so I need support I need help uh, to do that so please pray so I'm just going to say a prayer and uh, just say I really appreciate everybody um, met some people when I went to Hyde Park who'd seen my videos and and, and uh, we had some interesting conversations and you know they were encouraging so that was good and you know I know some of you out there, I know some of your stories and you're dear to my heart and I'm thinking about you all uh, and praying for you all but you know all of you don't get discouraged you know I think you know the reading today was stop beating yourself up we all stumble in many ways James chapter 3 verse 2 When you sin, God's Spirit will convict you of your need to repent and change your ways. But until you get your glorified body in heaven, you're always going to deal with sin. The Apostle James wrote, We all stumble in many ways, but falling down isn't what makes you a failure. It's staying down. Get back up, dust yourself off, receive God's grace, learn from the experience and move on. The Bible says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, Romans 8, 1. God is not condemning you, so stop condemning yourself. A few decades ago, people used to wear a little badge with the letter G-N-F-W-M-Y. It meant God's not finished with you yet, and he's not finished with you either. Sometimes we're guilty of doing the wrong thing with the right motives. For example, in 1957, Ford Motors described the new Edsel 
as the car of the decade. Try telling that to all those drivers whose doors wouldn't close, whose horns stuck and whose transmissions failed. Remember the leaning tower of Pisa in Italy where the architect designed a 10 foot deep foundation for a 179 foot tall building. How do you like to have that on your CV? The fact is the most talented people often make the biggest mistakes. Solomon wrote, there is not a righteous man on earth who does what is right and never sins. Ecclesiastes 7.20 And Paul added, I am not perfect, but Christ has taken hold of me. So I keep on running and struggling to take hold of the prize. Philippians 3.12 So stop beating yourself up. So that's the message from the daily reading today. And that's the message for you today. Whoever you are, stop beating yourself up. Um, so just a quick thing, just remember that I've done about three or four debates, conversations and debates that other brothers have, have videoed and they do like quality videoing. Some of those videos will be uploaded in the next couple of days or through the week and they're really quality videos of debate and discussion and I think they'll be a great blessing to people so God willing. So they'll be up in the next week or so. And also another brother's going to have a couple of videos that will be up. And I'll link to them so that you can watch them uh, under this video. And that's it really. So I'm going to just pray. Um, please keep in contact. contact. Get in contact with me from my website, my Facebook. Look out for my Twitter. I always put really good stuff on there that will help you. Tons and tons of stuff, good Bible teaching, good articles, good books linked to. Everything will edify you and really build you up. Link to my Facebook because sometimes I put videos of debates and discussions on there that I don't put on YouTube. So you'll get some other debates there and, and preaching that you might not see on YouTube. And then remember my two websites, the JasonBurnsPreacher.com and the Royal Blood Ministries website. And uh, there is a Royal Blood Ministries Twitter as well. Um, and that's it really. So keep if you're a Christian today, keep going in the Lord. Don't be discouraged. The Lord's with you. You know something? I just want to share with you something. And I think it's really important. When I listened to that uh, course of two seminars by way, The Way of the Master, um, Living Waters Europe, YouTube channel, Living Waters Europe YouTube channel. And it talks about fire, the fire, and if someone was in a fire, you'd go and rescue them. And it really brought home to me, uh, really brought home to me in a very powerful way, the great and awesome responsibility that we have as Christians. That there is a hell. And Christ has paid the debt to rescue us from that hell. It really, really impacted me powerfully, that those two lectures, seminars. And you know, when you realise, sorry. When you realise, sorry I've got itchy eye, I don't know why. But when you realise how much... God has done for us, how much Christ has done for us, how much he has rescued us. It fills you with a real sense of it, God's love. It really, really does. And when I was in Hyde Park, there were two young women, and I think we've got a video of it, which we'll put up. Um, a brother videoed this discussion. So you'll be able to watch it, and it was, it was fascinating. But I was preaching at Hyde Park, and there were these two young ladies. And one of them was uh, very antagonistic to the gospel. She listened politely, but in her heart, she was not happy with the gospel. But I had this love in my heart for her and her friend. I just had this love because I I knew the awesome 
the, the absolute stupendous, awesome responsibility that we have as Christians to pass on the message. And the great danger that they were in if they didn't come to know the Lord. So it gave me a real love for them. And I was talking and then they, one of, one of them was okay, but the other one was a, a little bit not, not really happy with the gospel. And then they went away. And to my surprise, later on the day, these lovely ladies came back. And they were listening to me preaching and we had a discussion. And I had a discussion with one of the ladies who had some, some issues which you'll see in the video. And she came back because I believe that she saw that I really loved her and cared about her soul. And I just want to say to everybody out there, the more you meditate on the gospel, the more you realise what Christ has done for you the more you'll have a love for people. And when you're preaching the gospel, and when you're sharing the gospel, that love will shine through, and people will be attracted to the gospel. And I, and I sensed that on, on Sunday, and the influence came through watching uh, the Way of the Master videos of, of, of training in evangelism, where they just expound the gospel. So I hope that's a blessing to you. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for you guys. And just going to pray that God will bless you all. Um, I'm going to pray that God will be with you all. Don't get stressed. Don't get down. Don't feel you're on your own. We're a family, all of us together. We don't have to join each other's groups or churches. But we're all together and we're all a family and uh, we're all encouraging one another and I'm going to pray and I hope this encourages you. Um, just keep your eyes on the Lord uh, and keep doing what God's called you to do. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you for your amazing love. We thank you that you're not a God of demolition but you're a God of restoration and that you're a God of grace and mercy. And Father, we just thank you for your love and the blessing of the gospel that you came, Lord, and died on that cross, and you delivered us from sin. You delivered us from the wrath to come. Father, how amazing that is. And Lord, how easy, and over the years, we can just f not understand fully the greatness of your salvation. And how you have paid that great debt so that we can be saved. And Lord, we all want to thank you today for that salvation. We want to thank you for that goodness and that love. And now, Lord, I pray for all those that listen to my videos. For all those that follow me on, on Facebook and Twitter and my website. Whoever they be. Father, each one, you know their heart. You know their struggle. You know their difficulty. And I just pray for each one today that you will be very God to them. That, Father, you would undertake for them and meet their needs. That you would encourage them. Father, you are a great and a mighty God. And you are faithful, Lord. And I want to thank you that you... You do more abundantly than we could ask or think. You are a great and a wonderful God. And I just want to thank you for your goodness and for your love. And again, Father, I pray that you'd just be with my brothers and sisters today. Lord, just be with their families. Be in their own difficulties and challenges. Be with them in their need, Lord. Use them for your glory. Build them up, Lord. Strengthen them. Help them. And minister to them, Lord. Watch over them, Father. Refresh them, Lord. And just be with them, Lord. Show them your love. Show them your grace. Show them your encouragement. And all the seed that they're sowing, and all the seed that we sow, 
Lord, we just pray that we would see fruit for our labours and that souls would come to know you. We pray, Lord, that the gospel, the door to preach the gospel would continue to open in our land and in Europe, Lord, that we would be free to proclaim the gospel. Be with the persecuted church throughout the world, Lord. Wherever they are, just minister to them and be with them. So, Lord, we commit everything to you. You who are almighty and great. And we commit everything in your hands, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I had to make this video because I wanted to report. I wanted to let you know what was happening. And I wanted to um, just uh, share those thoughts. But uh, in the next week or two, I try and just cut it down and maybe do one video a week and uh, give everybody a break. Uh, so, so that's what will be happening in the next uh, week or two after we put these, uh, after we get these videos of uh, high part debates and discussions up. After that, we will just put one video a week up, which will be some street preaching or a, a seminar or something like that. All right. Because uh, a brother down down in, in London, who, who's very good at this, advised me just not to put too many up. And because uh, uh, there's quite a lot of material to be looking at every week. And uh, and uh, so there we are. So that, that's what's going to happen with the videos. And um, we'll try and do more quality videos. Um, um, but we'll see. Alright. So anyhow, there's going to be less material going up in the next few months. Um so, but after these debates, we put some, there's about two or three debates that I'll put up, um, which are very edifying, I think that you'll find them very edifying, and then uh, from there, we'll just do, God willing, pray, <laughs> we'll do one video a week, we'll put the vid, maybe we'll put a string of videos together and make it one longer video or something, so, God bless you, have a lovely day whatever you're doing, and uh, walk in love, and keep your eyes on the Lord, and um, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Have a lovely day. God bless you.